As Doc Bernstein's Ice Cream Lab looks to the future, our biggest challenge is growth to meet the growing demand. We opened up in 2003, and since that time, we've tripled our ice cream production. Our San Luis Obispo location will expand our production capacity, but we need to continue growing beyond that. I want to share with you a little bit about who we are as a company, what makes us unique, and why we want to be community-owned. Now, some of our goals as a company are not just to provide memorable experiences for our guests, but also to grow the business, to provide more opportunities for young people with jobs, jobs that are more than just a paycheck, but also teach them some life skills. We also expand our community giving to new communities as we grow, and we're hoping to become a business model for a business that has a conscience or a way of giving back to the community. So there's five things that makes us a unique business. The first one is that we are registered as a beneficial corporation. Now it's a somewhat new concept started in 2007. California was the 11th state to allow registration as such, and we registered in October of 2012. As a beneficial corporation, our board of directors are allowed to consider other factors in quarterly returns when they make their business decisions. Seems like a simple concept, but it is actually against common law for businesses to consider things such as the impact on employees, the impact on the community, or the impact on the environment. They're basically forced under current doctrine to do nothing but maximize profits for shareholders. The concept of a beneficial corporation started in 2007 with a nonprofit called the Bead Lab. With this, they certify companies who are doing not just some good marketing, but also doing good with their companies for their communities, for the environment, and for their employees. And we plan to go through the registration process and get registered with them as well. Right now, worldwide, there's about 700 companies that have met their criteria. So it's a really neat concept, one that I think everybody's going to know about in another five or ten years, and we're lucky to be on the leading edge of that. A second important aspect of Doc Bernstein's Ice Cream Lab is that we have committed to giving back at least 10% of profits every year to local youth education programs. We do this through fundraisers for our local schools where we bring in celebrity scoopers, principals and teachers who will actually serve an ice cream made by a student and then 15% of the evening sales go to that school or PTA. So they've been highly successful in the 10 years we've been doing them, we've generated about $40,000 for local schools through these programs. So we feel really good about that giving back pledge and it's something we are committed to doing into the future. It's part of our corporate doctrine. Along the lines of our corporate giving to school education programs, we also have a special program for our employees. It's called the Employee Scholarship. And one day in August, 100% of sales go to our college-bound employees. In the seven years we've been doing this, about 25 employees have benefited from this, and we've donated over $22,000 in scholarship funds to our hardworking young employees. Since opening in 2003, if you look at our scholarship days, our blood drives, and our giving to local schools, we estimate we have donated over $100,000 to our community as part of our giving back commitment. Now, the next thing that makes us a unique company is we seek to be community-owned. And this is a not completely new concept, and it's actually inspired by a sports team from where I grew up, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Now, the Green Bay Packers is becoming widely known as a community-owned team. Back in the 1920s, when they formed, they actually sold shares of the stock to people in the community. And as they grew, they put in limitations to make sure the business or the team would never leave the city. So no one can own very many shares so that no one can actually pack up the team and move it to another city. It's got such a loyal following because people know people who own the team that it's become an inspiration for me. So I want to make this business community owned. Now with that community ownership, we borrowed a few things from the Green Bay Packer bylaws to try and make sure that that ownership is widely dispersed within the community. And as such, the business, in this case Doc Bernstein's, would always have its heart here on the Central Coast because the owners would be here on the Central Coast. The third aspect about Doc Bernstein's Ice Cream Lab as a company that is unique although not original, is that we are following biblical principles. So how we incorporate biblical principles into our business is that much like our government bodies, we say an invocation before every major session. We say it before staff meetings and shareholder meetings just to say that we show gratitude to our Creator for the gifts we've been given and that we seek to employ those gifts in a way that not only serves ourselves but also serves others. Here are some of the companies that are a little better known who have done the same thing and said that biblical principles are a part of their business model. The fifth and final point about what makes us unique as a company is I plan to put into our annual reports sections that help us to understand the meaning of annual reports at about an eighth grade reading level. Now I've gone through an MBA program and had an entire class on reading financial reports and yet I find them hard to get through. So I understand how it is where they just seem overly complicated. We take all that data and condense it down in displays and graphics that make it easy to sit down with a child or grandchild and explain to them what business means so that they can learn about investing and understand what it means to be an owner in a business 
even at a young age. I think it's a skill that most young people don't get a chance to get exposure to. And I'm glad to see that something like a business they really care about and love could actually help educate them along the way. Let me summarize quickly the five points that make us a unique business. One, we're registered as a beneficial corporation in the state of California. Two, we have a 10% giving back pledge to local youth education programs. Three, we're community owned, so our ownership is dispersed within people in our communities. Four, we follow biblical principles in our ethical dealings with our customers and with our employees. And finally, we make our annual reports readable and understandable on an eighth grade reading level so that you can use our business as a model to teach young people about the ideals of ownership and what it means to be a shareholder in a business.